summer. When there's thunder, there's lightning. And this looks like a bullseye to a lightning bolt. Come on, lightning, why do you gotta ruin my pool time? I don't know what I did to you, but you don't have to take it out on me. Why, lightning, why? Join me, Veronica, for Science Mysteries Revealed. This week's electrifying enigma, lightning. The first step to avoiding lightning is staying away from places it likes to strike. Pools and big bodies of water are pretty high on that list, along with tall trees and open fields. So if you're ever at a pool party and you see lightning, you better get out of there. Save yourself, Sparky! Every man and woman for themselves! Even though lightning isn't out to hurt us, it's still something to be afraid of. When lightning strikes an object, it becomes a subject to astronomical amounts of heat. Sometimes even enough to vaporize the sap in a tree and make it explode! If that's what happens to a tree, imagine what happens when a bolt of lightning lands on us. Whoa! Whoa! If you're caught outside in a lightning storm, the best thing to do is to get indoors. But if you're nowhere near a building, the next best thing is to get inside a car, since the metal frame will protect you from a strike. You can't get me in here, you big bully! Ha! Oh, hey. No matter where you are on Earth, lightning is inescapable. Across the planet, there are approximately 40 to 50 lightning flashes per second. As you're watching this video right now, lightning is flashing somewhere in the world. Lightning is such a jerk. When you do see lightning, there is a way to determine how far away it is. Since light travels almost a million times faster than sound, thunder will always be heard after a lightning flash. So as a rule of thumb, if you hear thunder five seconds after you see lightning, the strike occurred about a mile away from where you are. One, two, three, four. Okay, so that was about a mile away. I think the storm is starting to pass. Well, the storm passed without giving me any answers. But that's okay because I did some digging and found out that lightning isn't such a bad guy after all. To this day, experts are still studying fulminology, the science of lightning. But what they do know is that it all begins when two fronts of warm and cold air mix, causing an electric charge to build up in the atmosphere. When that charge is let loose, we see it as a flash of lightning. Coming into direct contact with lightning is clearly bad news. But what if we used it for our benefit? If there was a way to channel power with electricity, what would we power with it? Well, the average bolt of lightning carries five billion joules of electric current, which would be enough to power your house for an entire month. Or you could toast 40,000 pieces of bread and 40,000 eggs with just one lightning bolt. We're gonna need a ridiculous amount of OJ for this. Sally, harnessing all the power from the lightning isn't currently feasible. There's no way of knowing where lightning is going to strike. But even if you do know, there's no modern technology that can store all the energy at once. So you're gonna have to return that 1,700 loaves of bread that you bought for making toast. Sorry. I gotta say, I think I overreacted. After all this talk about lightning, I'm feeling much better about it. Have you ever been out in nature and looked around? I mean, really looked around? Everything out here is trying to eat each other. Whether you're a bug, a deer, or a rabbit, you better look over your shoulder. Which begs the question, are we next? <laughs>